All right, y'all. I'm taking my glasses off and cleaning them for this one. Today, we are talking about vision. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Unlimited Podcast, where we help you maximize your creativity. I'm Izzy Lemons. Let's get into it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Unlimited Podcast, like I already said, where we help you maximize your creativity. I'm Izzy Lemons, and I am your host today. If it's your first time listening, I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to the Unlimited family. I'm so glad that you decided to join us today for this episode. I promise you, you're going to leave here with some creative wisdom for your creative journey. If it's not your first time, I want to say thank you so much for tuning back in. Welcome back. You know what I'm saying? You're always welcome here on the couch. (laughs) But thank you so, so much for tuning in consistently. I appreciate the support that you're showing by constantly returning and listening and downloading and liking on YouTube and subscribing on YouTube, all that good stuff. I appreciate you for tuning in. Look, I don't want to hold us for too much longer, but For everybody who's here for the first time, as a brief introduction, my name is Izzy Lemons. I've been a creative for over 14 years, but I reached a point in my life where everything came crashing down because I didn't know who I was or what I was created to do. But now I run this thing called Unlimited Artistry, where we help you maximize your creativity by helping you understand your purpose uncover your creative identity and uncap your creative potential. We do all of this to reach a state of unlimited artistry, which is using our creative gifts in the way that our creator intended for us. So if this sounds like you, if this sounds like something that you're ready to embark on, stay tuned. Hey, look, one of the ways that we love to help you maximize your creativity is by connecting you with community. Look, this is why we've created the Creative Collective. The Creative Collective is a community forum where creatives can engage in conversation on creativity and purpose regarding their creative gifts. Most importantly, like I said before, this is your opportunity for community. On this creative journey, on this road to maximizing your creativity, It sucks if you're by yourself. Let's be honest. Let's be real. At Unlimited Artistry, we wanted to connect you with a community of people that are on the same journey as you, not just to encourage you on the way, but to help you avoid the mistakes and barriers and pitfalls that they've made on their journey. And just for that reason, it's the perfect place to share your experiences, ask questions, and talk about the things that affect you as a creative. Through the Creative Collective, we've seen creatives gain opportunities, gain accountability for the goals that they've set for themselves, and through our weekly discussions, share a bunch of wisdom. Look, I don't want you to miss this opportunity. You shouldn't want to miss this opportunity. Click the link in the description to join the Creative Collective today. Do not miss your opportunity for community. Hey, look, one more thing before we hop into today's episode. Y'all, December 30th is about to be a huge day for Unlimited Artistry, and I'm about to tell you why. If you remember from our last episode, we're launching our very first video course. Ah, Make some noise. It's super exciting. I know, I know. This video course is called The Organized Creative, and this is our effort to help you as creatives bring some more organization into your life, whether it's in your creative process or in your day-to-day life. I'm going to be sharing tips, strategies, and the tools that I use on a day-to-day basis to help bring some organization into my life. Look, as creatives, sometimes we can be a bit disorganized all over the place, that whole thing. It's like a character trait that is known of creatives. It's kind of weird at this point, (laughs) but I want to help you bring that in just a little bit. If you're a part of the Creative Collective before December 30th, you'll have exclusive first access to this course and exclusive pricing for the first week. Look, you're going to want to make sure that you hop in the Creative Collective today so you don't miss a beat. Keep your eyes peeled for all the upcoming announcements. Okay, the second reason why December 30th is going to be such a big day for Unlimited Artistry, as a matter of fact, I'm going to give you a hint. (laughs) 
On December 30th, Unlimited Artistry is officially launching Guitar Lessons. On that Friday, the sign-up sheet will be open, but there are limited slots available, so you're going to want to move quickly. I've been playing guitar for over 14 years, and I want to share the knowledge that I've gained on tone, on using your ear, and on improvisation. During these lessons, I'll break down how I learn and listen to music, and even how I use other sources to inspire my playing. Whether you're a new musician or an experienced musician that wants to learn something new, you're not going to want to miss this sign up on December 30th. Lessons will commence January of 2023. What better time to start something new? Again, stay locked in to everything Unlimited Artistry so that you don't miss what's happening on the 30th. All right, y'all already know what time it is. It is time for an unlimited production. Let's go. Music production is a major foundation for Unlimited Artistry. We've had the privilege of being a part of many different amazing projects and we love to share the stories behind those projects. This is also our way of sharing what Unlimited Artistry is doing to stay creative. But most importantly, we do this for educational purposes. So if you have any questions, join the Creative Collective and hit me directly. This week's Unlimited production is I Made It by Terrence Smith. On this record, Unlimited Artistry provided guitar tracking for the entire album. We're thankful to have had the opportunity to be a part of this record through Ronnie Collins, who produced the entire thing. One thing that I love most about this record is that it draws from the many inspirations that I grew up on. This song, titled I Made It, starts in more in the pop-ish lane, and then by the end of the song, shifts to this churchy vamp that just goes out of hand. <laughs> Playing on this entire album helped to exercise the different pockets that I exist in musically. A really cool fun fact about this record is that this is one of the first live recordings that I've ever done. It was recorded about from mid to late 2019 and released in the middle of the pandemic in 2020. When it came out, I plugged those headphones in. It was bopping all over the house. You know, I, 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 had, to, I had to feel that it took me back into the moment. <laughs> Nah, but it was a great experience uh, being a part of this record with my good friend Terrence Smith, uh, Ronnie Collins, Armani Whitfield was playing bass on this record, um, and just everybody else involved. Um, it was a great experience. Look, if you love what you're hearing and would like for Unlimited Artistry to help you bring your musical visions to life, you can visit the website and get started as soon as today. Whether you need full music production, a mix or master for your song, or want to add some guitars, Unlimited Artistry is here to help you. Visit the website or reach out to us on our Instagram page. All right, y'all. I'm taking my glasses off and cleaning them for this one. Today, we are talking about vision. Look, y'all, we're doing something special with this one. This topic will actually be part one of a two-part series. This episode, we're talking about vision. Next episode, we're talking about plans because one cannot exist without the other. But shifting back to vision, there's very little that we can do without a vision. Not being able to see, but having some sort of end result in mind. You cannot truly create or really even excel anywhere without a vision. At its most basic level, a vision is a mental picture of a desired end result. I'm going to reference a little bit of Bible here. If we look at Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18, it says, Where there is no revelation, the people cast off restraint, but blessed is he who keeps the law. 
One other translation that I have written down is where there is no vision, the people are unrestrained, but happy is one who keeps the law. And that word law actually refers to instruction, direction, codes of law, manner. Look, y'all, vision is foresight. Vision is crucial. As creatives, if we don't have vision, we don't have ideas, we don't see end products, we don't see anything. Vision is like our superpower. <laughs> the thing that makes us creatives is our ability to take that vision, number one, to have these really unique visions, but the ability to take that vision and make it a reality through the gifts that have been placed within us. But again, y'all, vision is crucial. Vision is foresight. True vision comes from God. He places it within us and we go after it. So given the major importance of vision to us as creatives, I want to share three thoughts on vision. Matter of fact, the title of this episode is going to be called, What Can You See? Subtitle, Where There Is No Vision. That's a good one. <laughs> Thought number one about vision. Vision is clear. When you have true vision, you can see it as if it's right in front of you, whether it's a creative idea or something that you desire for your life or whatever it is, anything. If it's a true vision, we're able to see it clearly. I want you to think back. Can you remember the first vision that you saw clearly in your mind? There are a couple of ideas that I've seen from dreams that are still as clear as day to me. If I had to draw them out, I could. Maybe for you, it was a picture of your future. Maybe it was a product idea. Maybe it was an image that you wanted to create. Maybe, like I mentioned earlier, it's a musical vision. Maybe there's something that you hear in your heart that it, you hear it perfectly the way that it should be. The feeling that comes with that level of clarity with that vision is what gives us the confidence to go forward and try to and, and bring that thing into reality. When we have clear vision, it can be communicated. And when our vision can be clearly communicated, we can bring others in, not just to, to add resource, but other hands to bring this thing to life. Hey, look, here's a bonus. Most visions can't be brought to life by yourself. Just like we talked about in the last episode, if you haven't listened to it, I highly recommend you, you go back and listen. But two are better than one. You may move faster when you're by yourself, but you'll move further when you go with someone else. Have you ever had a moment where something just clicked in your mind? It was like a eureka moment, as they call it. I believe that is the completion and the clarity of a vision. Look, let me tell you, there is an excitement that comes with having clarity to a vision. When you can see it clearly, you almost immediately like attach yourself to this vision. When we receive creative ideas, those are forms of vision. If you remember the Creative Toolbox episode from a few months back, it's important that we steward those ideas, those creative ideas. When inspiration strikes, those ideas will start to flow. That's vision. We have to steward our vision properly. So what's one of the first things that we should do when we receive clear vision? We gotta store it somewhere. I believe every creative should have a place that I like to refer to as their idea container. This is an immediately accessible resource where you can either write down, take a picture of, record the ideas that come once inspiration strikes. The purpose is to quickly capture it so that you can store it and refer to it later before it drifts away. It's kind of like catching a snowflake. If it lands in your hand and you try to hold on to it without putting it somewhere, it's, it's gone. But look, when we have clear vision, it's important to write it down, record it, do whatever you have to do to store it. If you got to draw it, draw it out. One fun way that you can store the vision, whether it's for your life or a creative idea, you can create a vision board. Now, you don't have to go get all the magazines and cut them up and, and put them on the thing, you know, that whole thing. But you can, do, you can do a virtual vision board. You can search Google or find stock images or screenshots of things that you love or see for yourself or 
whatever, you can put them together in a program like Canva or Photoshop, whatever you have available to you to use. You can put these things together and form a vision board. There are times when I like to reference visuals for projects that I'm working on. So I'll create a vision board of things that look like the sound I want to create. That's a little cheat code for you. But the gist is you want to see this vision physically. The point of the vision is not to let it sit within you but to bring it to life. When you write down that vision, whether it's physically or virtually, or you create that vision board, you're creating a f- the first iteration of this vision in real life. We're gonna open up our Bibles again and go to Habakkuk chapter two. This is only a book you are gonna come across if you read your Bible. <laughs> I'm, I mean, for real, like Habakkuk, I don't hear this book referenced often outside of this uh, passage actually if we look at chapter 2 verse 2 through 3 it says then the lord replied write down the revelation also translated as vision and make it plain on tablets write it down plain so that a herald may run with it so that somebody can actually execute the vision for the revelation awaits an appointed time it speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, other translations may say tarry, though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. When you have true vision, it's clear. And when it's clear, you want to get it down plain and simple, not with too many bells and whistles and frills and try to make it too abstract or whatever. You want it to be clear so that when you refer back to it, it can actually be executed. Another part of having clear vision is that you can see who's involved with that vision. So let me ask this, who is on the other side of your vision? What is your vision doing for the world? Most visions aren't just for the benefit of the person who's been given the vision. Many different creatives have different levels of vision in different areas. But to be quite honest, all each of us need is a very clear, small glimpse. Every vision speaks of an end result. So if you can get just a little bit of a clear image of that end result, you can start, you can start working. You can start pushing. You can start to execute that to bring that vision to life. So our first thought about vision is that vision is clear. Our second thought, vision comes with discipline. (sighs) Y'all, this one is a hard one because I know that I've had the desire to see the vision and think, okay, no matter what I do, this vision has to come to pass. That's not how it works. (laughs) If we look back at Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18, that first verse that we read, it says that where there is no vision, People are unrestrained. There's no control. One thing that's crucial for us to remember around these holidays is that when there's no vision for our money and our budgets, a budget is a vision for your money. Number one, let's let's start there. You got to have a budget. If if you have money, you need to budget. That's 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 not ever question. (laughs) But around this holiday season, you need to have a clear vision Otherwise, you just you just going to go crazy. You're going to go crazy with your bread and it's and it's all going to be gone in the end. One thing that I'm understanding about vision is that it's a target without a target. You're kind of left to just shoot all over the place and see what you can hit. But when you establish a target that puts your focus in this one area, you're at least in in the in the vicinity of the target. When the target or when the goal is established, you have more of a chance of executing. Look, show me someone with unclear vision and I'll show you that same person with pointless action, wasting time and energy, unstableness, inconsistency, all of the above. How do I know this? Because that was me at a point. (laughs) At a point in my life, I had so many different desires for myself that I 
started to pin as visions. Ooh, that's a bonus one right there. Don't twist your desires and visions together. Desires are things that we just want for ourselves, right? But visions have a purpose and an impact on the other side. Desires are for ourselves. Visions have other people involved and on the other side. Again, y'all, true vision comes from God. But I had so many different desires for my own life. I wanted to to be a touring guitarist and I wanted to be a producer and I wanted to be a pastor working at a church at some point. Like there was, I was all over the place. And so none of my efforts were focused in one direction. I was shooting aimlessly with not one specific target. During that time, I made a bunch of jumbled up decisions. And during that time, they all clashed. It wasn't until I buckled down and not to say that um, I've completely eliminated those different aspects and different desires out of the vision that is on my life right now. It wasn't until I buckled down and set a direct target that I started to make actual progress. Y'all, I had to get real with myself. I had to look myself in the face as best as you can actually do that. (laughs) But I had to tell myself, yo, you gotta gotta sit down. You gotta chill. Like, pick a direction because you're all over the place right now. Look, if you wanna see the vision in your heart live, you're gonna have to add some discipline with it. Discipline looks like saying no to certain things now so that you can say yes to your vision and yes to your future. Like we read in Habakkuk, that vision will happen. It's going to come. But your level of discipline with carrying it and executing it will determine whether you're stalling it or actually allowing it to happen. Let's think of it this way. A city doesn't just rise up out of the ground. It takes consistent construction over a period of time. There's a schedule to be followed that all the construction workers show up every every day until it's done. You have to be disciplined enough to show up for your own vision. Ask yourself right now, am I showing up for my vision or am I just hoping it'll happen? If you're not showing up for your vision, what do you have to let go of or say no to in order to show up for your vision. Again, letting go and saying no to some things is a part of bringing that vision to life. Like I mentioned before, I had to let go of certain desires and certain dreams that I had, but in the end, they started to make their way back. So I mentioned all of this to say, with vision comes discipline. So again, what do you have to let go of or say no to in order to say yes to your vision. So, so far, vision is clear and with vision comes discipline. And our third and final thought on vision today is that vision needs a plan. This third thought is actually gonna leak into the next episode, which is the part two that I was talking about. But when it comes to vision, I kind of alluded to this earlier, there's no osmosis that just happens. (laughs) In high school, I dreamt of getting my license, but there was no way that I could just lay up in the bed, chill on the couch, just be sitting scrolling on my phone, on YouTube, doing absolutely nothing that had to do with driving and then wake up and have my license and have a car. No, it takes work. You need a plan. Most often when we have a clear vision, with that clear vision, we can see a clear plan leading up to it. When God plants vision, he also plants the plan. That plan is something that has to be unlocked by him. Sometimes it takes sharing that clear vision with trusted people to help us find that plan. Now I'm going to warn you, you should not share your vision with every single person. This is the reason a newborn shouldn't be exposed to every 
human being that's not their parents, like their immediate family in their immediate vicinity because they can't handle the exposure to all the new bacteria and germs and all that kind of stuff. It, it can make the baby really sick. The same thing goes for your vision. You don't want to overexpose this underdeveloped vision to everything and everyone because it can become tainted. But anyway, it's important that we discover the plan that goes along with that vision in our heart. Think of it this way, a GPS, right? What good is a GPS if you can only put in your destination and not get any sort of route to the destination? Then it's just an idea. (laughs) Have you ever seen a two-story house without stairs? It's pointless. (laughs) To build a vision, you need steps in order to get to that end result. Otherwise, it's just a good idea. The best thing that we can do when we have clear vision and once we make the decision to be disciplined with that vision is check ourselves. What do we need to achieve that end result? What's already in my hands that I can use to get to that end result? What do I have to do to get to that vision? What do I have to learn? Where do I have to grow? These are all questions we can begin to ask ourselves to start developing a plan. Let's open up our Bibles again to Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. This is a verse that I reference like nearly every day. It says, in his heart, a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. The vision happens in our hearts, but God helps us order our steps to get to that vision. And in this case, it's fitting to say, God is the man with the plan. (laughs) Y'all, even in business, a plan is crucial. A strategic plan starts with vision and ends with measurable goals. You need a plan for like everything. If you wanna buy a home, you need a plan. If you wanna go to college, you need a plan. If you wanna start a business, you need a plan. If you want, if you have an idea that you want to execute, you need a plan. Even if you want to teach, you quite literally need a plan. (laughs) Look, y'all, having a plan to go with that vision is super important. I challenge you, if you have a vision in your heart that you're, that you're seeking out and that you want to see come to pass, look for that plan. Look for the plan that God has already placed around you. I promise you. There's something. God is not just a giver of good ideas, but if he gives it to you, he's going to tell you how to get there too. So look, when it comes to vision, vision is clear. With vision comes discipline and vision needs a plan. Look, we're going to continue this conversation on the next episode, but hey, look, Don't go anywhere. I'm sure this conversation probably triggered a few thoughts. Maybe you had some questions. Maybe you want to talk to somebody about the things that you heard today. Look, this is the perfect time to go join the Creative Collective and ask your questions or maybe share your experiences or just talk about the things that affect you as a creative. It's important that you don't walk this journey, this creative journey alone. We want you to get connected with other creatives who are on the same journey that can encourage you, share their experiences, and y'all can help push each other and help avoid the same barriers that everyone has stumbled over. Look, this is your opportunity for community. I don't want you to miss this. We're going to talk more about vision and plans in between these two episodes. Go click the link in the description. Join the Creative Collective today. Look, again, I just want to remind you one more time. December 30th is going to be a huge day for Unlimited Artistry. Not only are we launching our very first video course called the organized creative. We're also launching our signups for guitar lessons starting in January, 2023. Signups open on December 30th. 
and our video course will be on sale December 30th. You're not gonna wanna miss any of this. Make sure you're locked in to all things Unlimited Artistry. You can follow us on Instagram at Unlimited Artistry. You can follow us on TikTok at Unlimited Artistry. You can follow me on Instagram at Izzy underscore Lemons. You can visit the website unlmtdartistry.com. Again, that's unlmtdartistry.com. What? That's unlmtdartistry.com. Again, that's unlmtd. Okay, all right. All right, that's enough. Y'all let me go longer that time. <laughs> But thank you so, so much for tuning in today. I will see you next episode for part two. This week, we talked about visions. Next week, we're talking about plans because they go hand in hand. That was a bar and I'm going to leave it in there. (laughs) I will see you next time.